Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my FTB Genesis playthrough. Uh, episode 5, I believe, right? Uh, we are on our way out. Um, we're getting lava. Here, we'll keep that one there. Uh, mechanism tanks are still just as cheap as ever, which is awesome. It's just a little bit of redstone, a little bit of iron. And we are good to go. And we do have pasture seeds, which means I can actually grow grass out here, and we can start doing a tree farm. Uh, where exactly was that lava I found, though? It's all the way over there, isn't it? Um, there's lava up to the northeast. Okay. Looks like it's closer. I need to adjust... The shaders All right uh let's see lighting cave lighting is on default that's fine um atmosphere maybe we got clouds default style off reimagined maybe go ahead and do high quality clouds apply wow it didn't change the clouds in the, in the header at all. Um, and I'm looking for like daylight settings, right? You know what? No condition. I like my auroras. Sun moon angle's not going to change it. No, it's just. It's bright. Oh, wait a second. Um, maybe if I change. Uh, well, it's at 50. That's default. So, that didn't change a whole lot. It's just this dried salt is kind of harsh on the eyes with the shaders, so. All right. So, how do we make dirt? Um, do, 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 do. You, you matter, dirt essence. Is there a dirt seed? There is. Okay, so we just need to get to the Petal Apothecary, but we need... Okay, that's basic. Okay, let's uh, maybe focus on that here soon so I can... Dirt Seeds uh, seems like it'd be a really good idea. And hello! There's ruins in the background, but there's also a fire node over this way, so... And... Oh, what is it under... Final forces, was it? Okay, but it's not the right fire source, right? It's not 62, 185. No, it's not. Looks really interesting whenever you look at it from underneath, though. Uh, let me go ahead. Add waypoint fire. Except. Because that one's actually closer, I think, than the one that the quest book tells me about. So. Okay, we got our lava. We got sulfur ore. Awesome. Get that out of here. It's like, what, eight buckets so far? How much does this thing hold again? I need at least ten to make a portal with, right? Tanks really aren't all that expensive, though. So I'm just going to fill this thing up with lava. Oh, it's because there's lava. Okay. I'm like, why isn't it clearing out? Right. It's because there was source blocks right there. Okay, we only need a stone pick to get sulfur. That's not bad. I'm trying not to set myself on fire here because that will do really bad things to my armor. So 32 buckets worth? Okay. 
31 and 32. All right, what do we use you for? Uh, making gunpowder, okay. That's basically it. Okay, making gunpowder, making herbicide. That's kind of about it, so. That's fine. Let me go ahead and grab some more of that. Pick up our tank. It was really weird how the lava kept rendering after I broke the tank there, but, you know. Oh, I need that apple of lofty stature here soon, too. All right, but we have more ruins that way. And... Kind of strange right there. It, it almost looks like a terrain bug, but not quite. There's more ruins over there. Okay, so that's actually quite a bit bigger than the one over there where the, uh, the copper is. Or was. Because uh, I did loot that building. So, I do want to finish looting this out, though. And... Oh, yeah, you can see it here. There's ruins here, and then more over here. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a tower here, which is relatively close by. There's a tower there. There's really not as many towers as I thought there'd be. Given how close these two were to each other, I half expected it to be, you know, a little more common. Oh, well. Sun is starting to set. Let's, uh... You know, I could probably fix the lighting if I changed, like, the sun angle. Right. Okay, I can't run because I'm thirsty. There we go. I did go ahead and make myself an iron sword. Because it'll last longer. Stone swords, I think, do, what, 0.5 less damage than an iron sword does? But the, uh, the Iron Swords have, like, twice the durability, so. Alright, now one downside of the Seed Vault is how white everything is. It is very, very bright down here at times. Um, thinking about it. Grab a water source block from our cave. So I didn't grab one from the river I was just at, so... Is there going to be a skeleton down here waiting for me? Nope, 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 we're good this time. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, there's magma blocks over that way. Oh, cool. Alright, so we can get a bunch of redstone torches from down here. Uh, powered rails are a thing that we can sell off. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Okay, thank you for that. We're in claim chunks, so I'm not too worried about it. Sometimes there's little offshoot rooms from these rail lines. So, let me just hop down here so I don't waste food and water by jumping. And the good news is, once you start moving, there's really not a lot of spawnable spaces down here. So there's not a ton of mobs in the tunnel. The, the larger intersection areas... They have a decent amount, like right here, Will. But these little narrow offshoot tunnels are actually not terrible. These main tunnels here are a bit worse. But these are the tunnels you'll find little offshoot rooms in sometimes. Where are we heading? We're heading towards that ruin there, aren't we? Be handy. Um... Yeah, it looks like we might get most of the way there. I'm not sure, though. Because that just dead ends. And we've got these little guys here. There's lava right underneath us, or over us. Yeah, we got most of the way to those ruins there. So if I was just to, like, dig up from here...
There we go. I'm starting to wonder. I'm like, when are we going to, you know, get to the surface? And Hey, look, we have Aurora. There was that weird, like, red beam we saw there for a split second that shot up like that. It was a, a rendering glitch from something. It was probably that thing rendering in the wrong spot. Okay, I mean, that works. I I like that. Let me go ahead. We are going to do like so. So that way, whenever I'm on my way back from that city, I know where my my tunnel is. So oh, I just took durability doing that. Okay. Rubber boots. Oh, you guys. Nope. Okay, we got three creepers up ahead. That's fine. More guys spawning up ahead. That's also fine-ish, I guess. Uh, it looks like they're zombies, which is... I don't mind at all. And they do not ignore rails like other mobs do. I fall. All right. So that worked out just fine. Didn't find any offshoot rooms. I did find a shortcut to the next set of rooms that I want to go ahead and try to loot. We have a backpack now. So that makes things a lot nicer. And then we could also go that way. So. I hear a skeleton around somewhere. Not anywhere close for me to worry about. I need to fix this, like, <laughs> my way in and out. Maybe ladders wouldn't be a bad idea. Seriously? Hmm. I just heard something splashing in the water. All right, apple of lofty stature. I need an apple. I need an egg of some kind. That's going to be the hard part, I think. Uh, I need orange and cyan. These are cornflowers. That's like, what, light blue? It shouldn't be that hard to get. Uh, where am I going to set this portal up at? Because I don't want it in my base. Portals are loud. They're annoying. This is my base, yeah. The vault. Um, hello, guys. Uh, that tree needs to go. It's one of the custom trees with the varied leaves, though. I just maybe... Yeah, I just need to put some torches around underneath them. Let me come over this way. Because since they're custom leaf trees, to finish that point, um, they won't decay after I get rid of the logs. I'm going to have to knock down all the leaves manually. Hello, that's what, flax? Or hemp? Same thing. It all converts into string. I saw you shooting at me. You know what? We're going to go away for now. I will worry about the portal later. Right now, maybe I should be more worried about um, sorting my storage out. Actually, seems like it probably the best thing I can do right now. All right, so if I come over here... No, not you. Here. I've got a stupid amount of barrels now. Um... <laughs> That's almost seven stacks there, plus I have here, and then I have some, I think, in another storage box somewhere, so, uh... Alright, that should be a decent start. Uh, not so much there. We'll do, like, this stuff in here. That tank can go into there for now that. Uh, let's put sticks and blaze powder in there as well. I'm going to have to resort this here soon, but I, this will work for now, just to get my inventory emptied out and this stuff decluttered, because I've been putting, like, crap in here. Oh, need more water. 
Can I make a faucet? That is a question. Supplementary faucet. Oh, yeah, we can make these. Okay. And then... It's like a jar or something. Yeah. A slab and seven glass. Okay. There's that. Uh, the faucet was a stick and four iron or something, right? Yeah. We'll grab all that. Bring it over to here. Grab four of you back. And one of you. Alright, now I need the thing. And by thing, I mean I need a waterlogged log. So let me break this out. Put you there. Put you there. This is a slab, so I can waterlog it. And I can put this... Nope. Seriously? Oh, shift to place. Okay, there we go. And now it's filling up with water. So now while I'm, you know, pathing around my base, I don't have to run all the way over there to get water. I can just come back here where start. That looks like it would break really quickly. I need to be careful with that. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Um, just grab all this junk. All right. Oh yeah, flint block. Uh, I need four sticks and a string. Because there was a quest for making uh, flint shears, right? Could have sworn there was. Uh, let's see. Oh, I never claimed these. This quest is done, so... Uh, let's see, selective breeding. Oh yeah, another wart we have. So I just need Terra wart. Seems to be able to cure the user of radiation and other maladies. Uh, please submit a sample immediately so that our scientist and the Nexa can continue to discover additional properties. Completing this chap or this quest will unlock the biotechnology chapter. Three Terra wart. Uh, you normally need to create a breeding bed similar to stick breed breeding, but with Nether wart. Luckily, our scientists have discovered that Nether wart. Mutate rapidly in the presence of cold. Placing a, a snow under the farmland where you plant the nether wart should yield terra wart when grown. No other plants next to it. That's why, when they gave me the snow block earlier, it's like, you know, save this, or it's some, it said something along those lines. So. Uh, fire shards can go there. We'll put that in there for now. So that and that. This is like plant style. So type stuff here. I uh, will put our gems in here for now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here. Those two can go in there. So that way I don't accidentally drop them off somewhere and forget where they're at. Go there. You go here. Put you there and that as well. Crop sticks are just what? Four sticks each? Yeah. Okay. This would be kind of miscellaneous-ish stuff. Oop. There we go. So we got a good amount of water that we can pack around with us. Actually, I'll just do that. There we go. And the fire extinguisher, for sure, why not? All right. Um, there's you done. Go ahead and grab all that out. block of charcoal. I probably shouldn't put it in here. Seems the gunpowder sacks. Let me uncraft these. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. And you can have that and that.
That one's empty now as well. We just have this one now. I still haven't figured out what fluid's in there. Once I place it down, I can't pick it back. Pretty sure I can't pick it back up and have it retain the fluid. So that's why I'm like kind of hesitant to actually, you know, place it down in world. We need an orange die for this, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I have orange here. I just need cyan. I need an egg. Where do I get eggs? Is there a way just to like make a chicken essence? Okay. Right. That's the thing, obviously. All right, sweet. Uh, so yeah, we got another wart. Let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Got another potion of fire resist. We can get our hands on red wheat. Okay, which can grow redstone. Nice. That uh, requires a lower air quality in close to space. Also low light, seven or less. Redstone torch is ideal for these conditions. Nether wart and Aurelia are your best bet for breeding it, but two nether wart can also achieve this. Also, alternate, alternate magical recipe once you've progressed far enough. The primary source of redstone. All right. So, yeah, that's going to be a thing to get into here soon. Oh, it's leaf particles from up there. What is this on the ground? Like, who's making a mess in my base? There's that. Those can go there. Eight. We're getting there, right? Uh, yeah, you can have those. Can I uncraft this? I can. Okay, cool. That is good to know. Especially since I'm actually going to be making a nether portal. So it means I'll be able to compact the redstone, or the glowstone, where we're in the nether and be able to fix it rather easily when I come back. There we go. Let's go ahead and put you in there. Uh, it is daytime now. So let me grab my blue tank. I am going to need to run down and grab another bucket of water now, though. Since I turned mine into a uh, infinite water bottle source. Do, 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 do. Need clay. I might have to get into Batania. You know, I can just come over here and get water. I don't have to go down there. There we go. Uh, get into Batania and do a Claytonia. That might be for the best. Seriously. Fight the current and get in there. Okay, so we've got a bunch of seagrass in here. And we got a cubby. Okay. Well, I'm not putting my portal here then. All right. Quit doing. That was weird. Thing. Because I wanted to set my portal up against that rock wall there, but seeing as there's a pool of water right there, that would be annoying to deal with. Um... All right, Mr. Zombie, I heard you. You know what? Here, you stay like that. Actually, I could probably get away with just doing it. You go up there. Right? Okay.
All right. Oh, there's our nether portal frame. Let me go ahead, I guess, and we'll throw some lights down or something here. Okay, I need a flint and steel. Or a fire charge. Honestly, I would prefer the flint and steel. So here's a question. There is not a crafting recipe for flint. There is, however, a cutting board recipe for flint. I do like that one, because you get the gravel back regardless. So you can get just a ton of flint if you do it that way. Which is great. I mean, it's wonderful. We should get some rail lines in here instead of just running all the time. Alright, uh, you go there. You and you can go there. Our bucket's away. Lava can go. Alright. We needed a cutting board. Uh, we need four planks, two sticks. All right. And actually, you know what? Give me that, and we'll take this. That in our offhand. Task complete cutting board. Fine by me. Let you down here. Uh, that's my Amadron. Okay. Okay. Didn't auto replace the shovel. Alright, so. Here. Burn through the other shovel I just made. We got 14 flint out of the deal, though. Not bad. Uh, we need one of you. And you plus. No, not that, but this, right? Uh, what else can you use flint for now? Coal ball. Okay. Industrial TNT. This stuff is awesome. I love it. A sharpened boomerang. Okay. Need purple concrete for that. All right. Macerator, revolver hammer. Warp plate for more. Ooh. Yes. Let's add that. Okay. It's going to be a little ways away from getting that, but this will help get around base. Because it can be a little bit of a run at times. Okay. We can use flint. This is by cycle. Or cork does this. Okay. Flint to make stone tools. Sharp metal blade. Efficient saw blade upgrade. Colossal macerator. Rotary macerator. Okay, so the colossal is an upgrade of the rotary. All right. I'm used to the rotary. The colossal is a new one for me. No solicitor sign from Gadgets Against the Grind. Okay. Flint knife. I definitely need to make one of those here. Uh, the rain shield. All right. Raw obsidian blade. To obsidian blade. Okay. Rotary macerator for obsidian. Why does the obsidian one take more than the scrap metal? There's a... Okay, whatever. I mean, the obsidian one seems like it would be a little more of a pain to get my hands on, honestly. Pigment extractor. Okay. Crop bear claw. Oh, yeah. These guys are only in the nether, though. So... Tune stone. Okay, so we're gonna need, yeah, good amount of stuff like that. All right, um, ba bum. I need more sticks. Always need more sticks. There's our flint knife. Hey, we got a quest complete. Cuisine arts. Chop chop. And that'll give me some rice. Good. And we'll just do that. Guess we'll hang on to our bread for now because I don't have any other like, decent food sources yet. Uh, we're getting there on food sources, just not quite yet. Uh, no, we'll put leather in here. No, not there. There. Plant and six can go into there. Okay. And. Locked uncompleted dependencies. It looks like probably just, yeah, plenty of fish in the sea. That is just make a fishing rod, and that'll give me a fishing net. But this thing requires power, so. 
But yeah, this is what I want, but I, I need bricks. If I can find brick blocks in the cities, I can use the cutting board. Okay, that might be the way to do this then. Uh, it is nighttime. It's like, good, I can set my spawn. Sweet dreams. What was hunting gathered for? Oh, knife. Okay. It's shining right through the entrance there, isn't it? Guess it makes it easy to tell when it's dawn. I wonder if mods like Funky Locomotion are still around or not. Or they do the same thing. Or Pistronics would work too. But you can actually make the door open and shut with those mods. So that's why I'm wondering. Oh god, that is kind of trippy looking from the side. Alright. We are... weighing you down a lot. Now how does another look with shaders? Running with shears is safer in Minecraft. Well, we've fallen 500 blocks so far. Well, more than. We're at negative 800 now. Taking a little time. To, there it goes. To load up the nether. Erupting Inferno. Okay. Another iron ore. Nice. We have nether ores. I was not expecting that. And that is a wonderful surprise. Hello, we have those guys too, okay. We like uh, custom boss mobs. Prosperity ore, okay, it requires an iron pick though. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Bad times. <laughs> ah, dang it. Well, hello. All right, well, we've got more coal over here, which is good. Grab ourselves some magma blocks. Nether Inferium, nice. Ah, everybody's in radiation suits here, too. All right, well, that, I guess, makes sense for what's going on. We got the little smokers. Brimstone fumarole. It almost stepped in that lava. It blends in really well with the, the brimstone here. Alright, so while well, we're in the nether. So we got that completed. Let's get out of the nether before you know something happens. Of course, I am going to take this time to mine up some stuff. I hear you down there, zombie. The digging seems to have stopped since I claimed the chunks. So it doesn't just stop creeper griefing, but it looks like it stops the zombie griefing as well. Which I am thankful for. Data access, yeah. There's no data to access right now. And everything blew up. All right, let me... What, what can we do with you? Magma anvil. Using liquid magma, not liquid lava like it used to be. Um, cobble generator upgrade from IC2 Classic. Burnt white rock. Okay. Lava sponge. That's handy. Um, advanced beehive. There's a sponge bee. 
Okay, cool. Dark Nalumbo. Trinket. Maybe the antithesis, but the lava is still burning. You can walk on the lava. Versus the Nalumbo, which, uh, walk on water? Yeah. We need this dubious dust and a sponge. Okay, dubious dust is... Okay. I mean, it's not terribly cheap, but it's not bad. A couple recipes for the Dark Nalumbo. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's see, Rage Mind. Uh... Take damage from an entity. All entities of the same type are marked. You deal 1.5 times damage towards marked entities. Well, that's kind of cool. Ultimate Dust is... It's, it's a ways up there. So... Melting Chamber, we can turn it into Liquid Magma, which we could use on the Magma Anvil. Okay. There's that. Uh, we have some raw iron. We can mass rate this, right? into two iron dust per. Cool. We got some coal, we got a little bit of inferium, and we got some quests to turn in. Uh, thermal extractions. Visit the nether realm. We went deeper. Spark augment dominant. Waystone. Can waystones do cross dimensions in this pack? Hey look, more inferium. And we got some prosperity. Sweet. Find gold ore, dimensional shard, nickel... Lead, osmium, silver, copper, tin, aluminum, new alloy, make bronze, I'm guessing. Dusts and gems of the nether. I, okay, it's not a consume. So what I could do is that and that, right? Do that and that. Put those in here. That quest is complete. That'll give me a glowberry custard. I make those sugar, milk, egg, blueberries. Okay, you know, once I get um, chickens and cows going, that's actually not a terrible bad uh, food. Shame it doesn't give any hydration, but what can you do, right? We have another waystone. I'm just gonna collect all of this, right? You can, oh, what. Seriously? Oh. Um. Okay. So I'm guessing that's how I got the achievement instead of it just, you know, automatically happening. I have no idea. It might be because if it's a custom dimension instead of the nether, that might not trip the advancement like normal. So if that's the case, it makes sense. There we go. Uh, let's see. Solar gem. It, light weapons do support fire damage. I might use that solar gem on a pair of rubber boots that I put that Unbreaking 5 book onto. Alright, um... Yeah, let's see. Exploiting the natives. Meet a piglin. Okay, and that'll give me money, a charm or fire resist. Okay. And then gilded upgrade. Okay, so it makes your pneumatic armor act like gold armor. All right, cool. So piglins are happier with you. There's your group here who treasure gold very highly. See, you're not wearing gold, they will likely... They see, you're wearing gold, they will likely not be hostile towards you. All right, of course, this will cost you the normal protection of your radiation suit, so you had better be prepared with some fire resistance. Treating with them can net some rare and important ingredients for furthering your aims. All right, cool. Would be scary skeletons and interpol. All right, selective breeding. I have not claimed you yet. Then the hemp. So we got 555 pumpkin and hemp now. And that'll take a seed to 15. Cool. Dang, I still need to finish organizing everything here. So I've got a bunch of like seeds and stuff here and then over at my farm and whatnot. Didn't I leave? Yeah, I had some fertilizer in there too. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, we went into the nether. We got some stuff. Um, built another portal without 
being able to mine obsidian, which is, you know, pretty nice. Uh, let me go ahead and grab, like, two more of these, and then we'll grab a couple sticks to get this kicked off with. There we go. And you can do that. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.